Welcome to a new test and teardown video. Look at this fantastic impo. I think this case is an MK case, but I haven't seen exactly this design before. It is really, really special. The way that it's angled and all that, but it's definitely an MK case. And I believe this unit is a time measuring device for a school where they are um, experimenting with um, maybe reaction time. So you'll start a time and stop and reset. And you can connect some start switches by either breaking or making. And again, there is a stop. So imagine some different switches and then something happens and then a student must uh, react to some some event. You can also um, start by either making or breaking a contact from a uh, voltage, I guess. Let's try and power it up. So let's try and power it up and yes, it it works. This is 7.7 .7 watts of power and there's nothing dangerous. Oh, what is... Okay. Ah, so you can't restart. So you need to reset. Ah, that is great. So it's... This looks like it's milliseconds, right? So that will be seconds, right? Tenths of a second, right? Oh, and then it really. So it's just uh, flipping over. Okay, who's going to be that slow anyway? So, I mean, we got 9.99 .99 seconds of time and it will just continue forever. It could have been smart if it just stopped at 999, right? Or maybe you just know that now is the time and then you know how many cycles. Okay, yeah. And then you can't... Uh, th that's actually pretty good. I mean, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's try and find some connectors and experiment with those external inputs here. Well, that's actually a little bit funny because it says... Let me try and show you this. So this is a break, and this is break and make, right? But look, start. So this is a stop. Okay, that works. But if it is running, I think it's because I make contact noise. So by, I think I connect this, but I also disconnect it as well, right? And this is why all of the features actually works for whatever it is I'm trying to do. You see, this is a make. Of course, it's going to start it. And this is a break. See, again, of course, the break is also starting it because actually I do a connect and a disconnect. So, yeah, it works with all the externals. I mean, let's have a look what is inside this beautiful unit. I already got a few ideas what I can make <laughs> all sorts of funny experiments with my kids and see how fast they can react on all sorts of stuff. Oh, I want to set up a cool experiment. This is a great unit. So inside Impo products, you will most likely find those stickers. So this unit is from 1979. Isn't that just fantastic? Sometimes you see two stickers just like this. Uh, I haven't yet figured out exactly why, but this is just uh, how it is. So now it is open. I find the mains connector here it needs a little bit of fixing. We got a five volt regulator like that on the bottom here. I mean, this is super, super old school. We got some timers and stuff. Where is the oscillator and how do you calibrate the 
the time is it really accurate and there's so many questions how accurate can this be and what is the oh look at that if you see the rectifier here i see signals coming from mains into a counter so it's using mains frequency as the reference oh man that is genius so there is nothing to calibrate it's just very very accurate ha ha that is great and not that many wires go to the display and i guess that's because the counters for the displays they're actually here right but that is some really really large ICs. what the heck is that now i really want to have a look here there isn't anything under here i guess that's just switches right but hey why don't we just have a look i really want to see i want to see more you know so we are now inside this unit that was real easy and look at that 74143 so ten, uh, three of those and that's actually um, a counter and a seven segment driver in one chip really really neat especially when you want to have this nice and compact and you don't really like a complicated PCB layout and all that kind of stuff so of course they are they are very <laughs> much more expensive compared to the other two chips but well well PCB layout is obviously a thing if you look at this PCB layout it's called three digits from 1970 and there's obviously a new revision here from 78 so something was changed and have a, oops have a look at this little funny detail here they kind of started their layout by routing this one this is a manual uh routing it's done with a tape on a, a transparent sheet and this is just a home uv light and etching and all that kind of stuff but look at that this track all the way up here because hey we didn't really plan for what is going on up here right <laughs> that is so typical i actually found a very very potential problem this one is a little bit loose there is a connection today but this is going to get lost soon so i will desolder that wire and solder it to that point instead where there's also a wire to here so yeah this is what there is to it i uh, look at this look at the front again this is a very typical impo they're doing this all the time with those symbols on black banana plugs and then the user would think hey maybe they are all connected together and stuff and what is this is some positive going to this and that and what is then we can route this to no you cannot i mean this is so classical impo see the, those three they're not connected to anything just why isn't it marked with just a wire between them then that will be much much better to show exactly what's going on and those three wires uh, or the three bananas here they just go to a switch i mean what is the point what is this doing i don't know really not a lot of yeah anyway that is kind of what i wanted to show you about this nice little time react measurement machine we are having a little fun game here you don't know when i'm going to start the time and we're going to see Ooh, 0 0.27 huh and you don't know when i'm going to press start and then she's going to react real fast wow that is pretty fun huh do you think you're real good yeah
That is a fun game of reaction time measurements. Wow, 0 0.3, so you're... Uh, well, now you're getting close to your daddy. Yeah, real good, darling. Wow, that's good. 